Mike from One Arm Brewing and Barbecue. COVID-19 time. Uh, all of us are doing different things, uh, staying at home, cooking at home a lot more. Um, you know, we're all videoing each other, doing Zoom meetings and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to do some videos on some cooking, on some food that we like to do here in Texas. And maybe it'll help you guys out, cook some good food for your family while you're at it. Today, uh, we're doing some carne asada and uh, what I call pollo verde, which is green chicken. Uh, that sounds kind of gross, but it's a green sauce that goes on the chicken. Cook it out on the grill, come back in, cut it up, serve it fajita style. That's a really good stuff to eat. All right, we'll see you in a sec. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make up the, uh, the green sauce for the carne asada and for the chicken. Uh, I'm a big fan of Sam the Cooking Guy on YouTube. Uh, a lot of the stuff that we try here recently comes from recipes that he does out in San Diego. Uh, add a little bit of stuff in it to give it a little more Tex-Mex flavor. Um, so the first thing, this carne asada sauce, we're gonna take a head of cilantro here, and we're just gonna take, and we're gonna throw in all of that. Just throw all that in there. We're gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. Sam, the cooking guy, turned us on to this. This is some really good stuff. It has a higher heat point before it starts to burn. And uh, it doesn't have as much of a flavor as olive oil does. At least I find that. Um, tastes really good. It's relatively cheap um, at the grocery store. So we're going to throw this in. We're going to kick this up. Get it nice and chopped up there. Uh, the next thing we're going to add is we're going to add a little bit of soy sauce. I know. Tex-Mex soy sauce. Doesn't really mix, but it tastes really good. It adds a depth of flavor yes. to it. Uh, we're gonna add a little more avocado oil in here. Added that soy sauce. A little bit more avocado oil. Uh, we're gonna add some ground cumin, about a tablespoon-ish or so. One of the things here at One Arm, we don't do a lot of measuring uh, for exactness. We just kind of dump it and we go. Uh, we're gonna take some brown sugar, uh, about a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half or so of that. Get a little bit of sweetness in there. Uh, several cloves of garlic, using our garlic press. I'm a big fan of garlic. Uh, Ella, not so much a big fan, so I can't put as much as I like in there, but gotta have a little bit of garlic in everything, you know, it gives it that good flavor. Uh, get that skin out of there. And finally, one more clove of fresh garlic. Throw that. A little bit of uh, salt and pepper, kosher salt. Black pepper. And then finally, some lime juice. We'll go with two halves of a lime or a whole lime, I guess you could say. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. Watch for the seeds. You don't want any extra of those things. And then uh, this time around, we're going to add a little bit of some Valentia, Valentina hot sauce. This is a good Mexican hot sauce. We'll add just a little bit of this in there. Give a little bit of heat. And pull this back on. what you're seeing you know this is what this stuff should look like it's uh it's good stuff uh, i've got some skirt steak just some thin skirt steak in a bag here we're going to take this and we are going to dump some of this green sauce down in there so this will be for the carne 
Masada. This is just like a skirt or a flap steak, just something thin. And then I'm also going to cook up some chicken thighs with it. Uh, normally I would go with fresh thighs, but, uh, you know, we bought up at Sam's a couple of, you know, all of our stuff for the next few weeks just in case we're stuck at home. No hoarding or anything, but, you know, definitely having some staples. So this is that, that big bag of frozen thighs, uh, defrosted. And we'll just put the rest of this down in here. Some good stuff. Uh, you could, you know, if you wanted to reserve some of this and keep it off to the side and use it as a topping uh, on your fajitas, you know, after you cook them, you know, maybe with some uh, sour cream or something, you can do that. I usually just make up enough just to do the, just to do the uh, marinade. So what we're going to do is we throw that in, get rid of all the air, get the meat, get rid of all that air, and then we're just going to work it in, do it all over the side. Sometimes I'll do this in a pan or a bowl or a tray or something and let it kind of sit in there. Our fridge is really kind of full. I've been cooking a lot, so there's a lot of extra food in there. Um, so we will do this. What we're trying to do is, you know, one home cooked meal a day or every other day and then having enough, cooking enough leftovers. There's just three of us in the house right now. Um, uh, having enough leftovers for the next day or two, so that, you know, maybe for lunch or something. So what we got, so what this should look like when you're done, got this all covered up. Yeah, that looks really appealing, but trust me, the flavor on this is great. I recommend letting it sit for two or three hours. It's three o'clock right now, so we will um, throw this on the grill probably around 5, 5.30, 6, somewhere in there. So yeah, uh, one on brewing. We'll be back. All right, we're back. Uh, Going to cook that carne asada and the uh, pollo verde, the green chicken gonna throw in some smoked sausage with it we're out here at one arm brewing's backyard pairing this today with some shiner bach traditional texas brew uh, we're cooking it on our uh, gas grill uh, it's a pretty quick cook so no really no sense in throwing on charcoal or anything like that uh, unless you're a traditionalist um, got the grill heating up we're gonna throw this meat on here in just a minute all right yeah so we got the grill heating up. Let's get it on. Grill's cleaned off. Clean, uh, hit it with some uh, avocado spray. We're gonna throw on the uh, let's throw on the sausage and the chicken first. So kick everything back down just a little bit. Put that sausage over here. Love it. Love to hear that sizzle. Here comes chicken. those get going. Go ahead and throw these uh, flap steaks on there in the back. Mm, some money. Let those go and we'll go wash hands and stuff and uh, come right back. Yeah, that's some good stuff in there. <laughs> Smells great. Give it a look. Give it a little flip. Flip over that sausage first. Probably could have waited on the beef a little bit, you know, to give it a, so it, it's pretty thin sliced. And uh, that chicken is gonna take just a little bit longer. Look at those grill marks. That's money, baby. Money. Go ahead and give these guys a turn. That chicken's 
chicken going right in there. You see why it's called that Pollo Verde? It's got that green living on there. That's some flavor. It's just all over the place. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these steaks and move them over to this side. Put this chicken over here. What we can do is kind of regulate the temperature a little bit better. Close it back up. We're back for more. In the meantime, enjoy your shiner. So we give it a look see. It's been on three or four, maybe five minutes. These chickens are looking pretty good. Give them a little bit of a turn. Look at this steak. Just look at this, getting ready for fajitas. Look at that bad boy. That meat, the meat looks pretty rough because it, uh, it was a pretty cheap cut at the uh, grocery store. You know, it's, we're gonna slice it all up for, um, for fajitas. So, you know, this presentation on it doesn't need to be too much, but the, the look, those grill marks give it a little bit good, good flavor. Getting good on the, uh, on the sausage there. We're gonna cut that in half so it's a little more Manageable. Get that slice. Let's see where we're at. Yeah. Everything's coming along. Close it up. A few more minutes and we'll be eating. You know it. Yeah, this is coming along good. You know, one of the things, like I said earlier, you know, we're cooking, there's only three of us eating here tonight. But we're cooking extra you know, for lunch tomorrow, maybe a, maybe an afternoon snack or something tomorrow. Look at that. When those pieces come off like that, oh, that puppy, that chicken is getting really close. The steak, that steak and sausage is pretty good. So I'm gonna throw it over here on the left. I'm gonna kick that burner off. I'm just gonna let it sit here and warm while that chicken finishes up. Got a little bit more, a few more minutes. And it'll be time to eat some food, some fajitas, yeah. You know, one of our traditions here at One Arm, when we're cooking out here, Official first dog of the uh, one-arm brewing family, Rosie, down here. She always gets the first bite. So we're gonna cut off a little bit of a sausage. We'll bring this around. Let's we'll see if we can find her. Rosie. Yeah, she always gets the first bite. There it is. It's over here. Hey, it's right here. It's right there. It's right there. Yeah, I don't know. You don't want that? She usually just scarfs it up. There we go. There we go. She's getting a little old, so, you know, maybe her nose wasn't working too good today. So we'll come back. Get this back set up. I think it's about time to pull it. It's about time to pull it, folks. Yeah, shall we pull it? Come in here cut open this chicken just to give it a look kind of see what we're looking at still juicy nice look at this guy give this one a look again presentation you know we're gonna cut this up here in a little bit still got a little bit more on that chicken to go I just can't wait on this steak so I'm gonna cut me off a little bit of flap Flavor is crazy. Mm. That stuff's good, man. The camera's falling over, it's so good. Alright, let's pull it, buddy. Let's do it. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Yes. 
These bad boys are ready to go. So one thing while I'm pulling these off, you know, this COVID-19, you know, it's got us, you know, all sorts of things are going on in society. You know, as a theater artist, my heart goes out to all the artists who are, you know, impacted by this. They've got their, you know, shows are canceled. You know, me, I've lost a couple of different gigs uh, that I had coming up, lighting a couple of different shows. So, uh, you know, in this time, I think it's important for humanity that we all kind of remember, think about each other, support each other where we can. I'm wearing the B Theater shirt. Uh, there's a local 501c3 theater here in town in San Angelo uh, that we support, that we've been part of their family for a long time. So, you know, as this goes on, you know, it's not going to end anytime soon, a couple of weeks, months, you know, some predictions go even further than that. So I would say, you know, reach out and support where you can. Our church does a lot of food ministry, uh, support the arts, support people, support teachers, support the people stacking the food at the grocery store, support your doctors, first responders, all those people, because it's gonna take all of us together to, uh, to pull through this, and we will, because we're strong. So, yeah, that's the soapbox for today. Let's go inside and eat. All right, so we're back. Boy, this camera angle is really extreme. I don't want you to get a good shot of the food. All right, so let's look at this. Uh, let's look at this steak, first of all. We'll put this over here. Say hey, Jude. Hi. First daughter of One Arm Brewing. We're gonna come in, we're gonna cut against the grain, so we're gonna cut this this way, and we're gonna come in. That's the second dog. Second dog. Get her off. Third dog come on. Back, Get her down. Third dog. And uh, <laughs> cut these down into bites that'll go on that fajita, but look at that. Look how tender that is. Mm, yummy. Look how tender that is. You wanna go get mom? Yeah. And uh, we'll just cut this up. You know, that sausage. It's always good to have some sausage. Uh, with your uh, with your food here in Texas, smoked sausage, nothing fancy today. Just you know, what they had at the uh, the Sam's. So we got some different fixings here. We got some of the. Uh, say hi. Say hi. Hi. Yeah. Uh, the other day we made up some of our one arm mango grilled salsa. Look at that. Cook it all out on the grill. Chop it up in the blender. Uh, here comes this chicken though. Look at this. Look how tender and juicy. This is, you can't even, right? This chicken is the best though. Get a little bite. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's the money right there. You know, also at our uh, HEB here, we found this stuff, six queso Mexican cheese blend. Uh, cotilla and some other ones that I'm not gonna attempt to say. That's some good stuff. Cut this up, and then we've got here in the back some of our famous uh, Big Dog's queso. Big Dog's been making that queso for 20 plus years. In case you didn't know, I am I am the Big Dog. So, and then uh, of course some ranch style beans to finish them off back here. Nobody else in the fan really eats those, so I will have those. Look, see, there's just juice just still coming out of that chicken. That chicken is tender, it is soft, uh, and it is good. Get a look at this. We go get a close up of that right there. Look at that color in that. And of course, our sausage. Cut this bad boy up. Put that on a burrito. Woo, that's it. I'll give you some shots of food here and it's all put together. Catch you in a minute at the table. All right, so we're back. You wanna see it? You wanna see it all plated? It's good stuff. Here it is. Right there it is. You got the ranch style beans, got some sausage. There's your chicken. Over here is your uh, beef one. A little bit of salsa action, Sharon Bach. Good stuff. All right, that's it. First video. More to come, I'm sure, because I'm bored. Yes. Thank you very much. Support the arts. Mm -hmm.